Right then people, I've got the aircon on, as you can tell, I mean it's nearly full blast. This is full blast. That's three. That's two. That's one. That's the blowers off, just the engine on. But I want the aircon on for a minute because it's 24 degrees outside and I'd like to just say this is going to be an in-depth review while I drive home. An in-depth review on the Toyota I go. I would like to say Mark II, but it's the KGB40 chassis, if, uh, if anyone really cares about that. I've had this car for just over a year now. Uh, I've just had to grease the uh, runners for the driver's side window because it started going a bit slow at the top might have something to do with the wind deflectors that I've got but general main main general maintenance 12,000 miles covered I've changed the oil more regular than I should have because I have great mechanical sympathy and a lot of people don't company policy got to use my hazards uh, yeah a lot of people don't do routine maintenance to their own routine they literally change the oil when the, the book says or the lights comes on and that's wrong that is the maximum allowance for a service schedule so if you just about drive your car in optimum conditions so 20 mile round trip a couple of times a week then yeah service it how the book says if you I sat in rush hour traffic, sat in traffic at all for any length of time, that is classed as extreme conditions and you should at least half your service schedule, half, at least. Um, let's get the aircon off now so you can hear what I'm saying. At least half the service schedule of what it says in the book, simply because um, an engine's an engine, and once upon a time, you change your oil at 6,000 miles, and your car did 150,000 miles. Um, so yeah, anyway, Toyota I go. I've got a white one, I've actually got two of these. Lovely cars, I've had to change brake pads on one. Um, but that might be due to my driving. Um, Various specs you can get this car in. Mine is one down, sorry, one up from bottom of the range, which meant it came with dab radio and Bluetooth. I don't know if the bottom one comes with Bluetooth or not, it should do, being as it's the 21st century. But um, yeah, I changed my stereo, I bought a different head unit simply because the amplifier that it comes with is very low powered. Uh, if you like your music and you want an Oigo, I'd recommend saving yourself another 100 pound and buying a new stereo while you're at it. At least anything, anything to sound better than the original stereo. The speakers can handle it. The door speakers in this car can handle the aftermarket head unit. I've also fitted an under seat subwoofer. It's not really a subwoofer, it's just a, a base reinforcement speaker. Uh, does make it sound a bit better though, but with the aftermarket head unit, it sounds alright anyway, so I wouldn't recommend. I, I don't, you don't have to add bass unless you want it. Depends what kind of music this to, but yeah, love this car. I'm six foot three loads of room don't bang off anything uh, it's a lovely driving position the steering wheel is right on, on my lap and I'm six foot three normally when I have a chair where I need to sit the steering wheels four feet away from me so yeah what I was gonna say about this car it's got back doors it's got front doors it's got a bonnet and a boot uh, they are very cheap to run. 
I sit in traffic every day for half my journey and I'm still doing 52 miles to gallon according to the computer. My trip computer actually said last time I filled up um, that I had achieved 51 and a half miles to the gallon. When I worked it out, I was actually doing 11 and a half miles per litre. That's 55 miles to the gallon. I think five litres is a gallon. So, yeah, it's conservative. The fuel's good. It's not exactly a quiet car, but it's seven grand. It's a very cheap car. And a cheap car, and it's reliable in my mind, is a good idea. All I've done is change it. I've changed the oil three times now, I've done 13,000 miles. I would recommend that to anyone. I plan on driving this car till it rots into the ground. And I bet the engine will still work when it finally does. Central locking, remote central locking, air conditioning, electric windows, steering wheel controls. It's got ABS, it's got electronic stability control. It's got a hill assist, which I'll try and show you that work. It's on my journey, I do have to stop on a hill. Usually, um, little skinny tyres, quite critical on tyre pressure. If you've got an iGo already, or if you're thinking about getting one, if you're not a religious, oh, I'll check the tyre pressures. I suggest you become one because little skinny tyres—they're quite a low-profile tyre for what they are—and. They need quite a high pressure. It needs to be 33 psi, but because of the small volume in the tyre, hot weather and cold weather changes the pressure quite drastically. So all I'll say, keep an eye on your tyre pressures, people. It's the only thing touching you, touching the road. It's the only thing keeping you safe is your tyres. Uh, there is no warning light for your brake pads wearing out. So check them at 10,000 miles. And if they're nearly gone, buy a new set, they're only 12 quid. Everything's 12 pounds for this car. Uh, had some geezer knock my mirror off the other day. New mirror cover, it comes painted. 12 pound. What? Most of the cars, you wouldn't even get the paint for 12 pound for the mirror. Anyway. I work in the motor trade, I can't tell you where I work, I can't tell you anything about uh, why I've got one of these. I bought this out of my own money, it's a top little car, it handled good, it's nippy. It's like driving a four speed, so if, you ever, if you're a bit older and you used to drive around in a car that only had four gears, it's a bit like that. The gears are really long and smooth drive around it first really it's not jerky like it is in a lot of cars the gears aren't that close now what else can I say uh, the paint finish on Toyota's is quite good it's actually better in terms of the orange peel effect than Mercedes I've got a white one as you can see it's white here in these cars a lot of exposed metal on the inside of the car. Uh, yeah, a lot of exposed metal. Uh, according to the interweb, uh, the new shape version of this that's coming out towards the end of the year, it, there's no real difference. I think they've put a different steering rack in it. So it makes the steering a little bit more responsive. Um, and apparently they put more soundproofing in it. Now what I'll say on the soundproofing is, when I first got this, due to the fact that stereo, like I say, I've changed the stereo, 
couldn't quite hear anything clear on the stereo. Now I thought it was down to the noise of the vehicle. It wasn't, it was down to the lack of amplifier in the head unit. So <clears throat> what I did was I've soundproofed the floor of the boot with a little bit of dynamat. I haven't even used dynamat, I used vibe anti-vibe or whatever it's called I used a bit of that and a bit of something else that I acquired from work um, it's, it's, all, it's all automotive based but I do the boot floor around the spare wheel well this car didn't come with a spare wheel so there was a space there um, you do around there what I also did was cut out another same shape as the boot floor piece of foam and stuck it to the bottom of the boot carpet and that has made the car half as quiet half as loud in terms of road noise um, now the new shape is coming out apparently they've improved on the noise insulation so I wonder if they've just done what I did I'll never find out because I'm not going to have a new one I probably won't see one for a while uh, now I'm stuck in traffic. Just let this guy out. He's trying to kill his clutch by the sounds of it. Um, so yeah, it's got 15 inch wheels. The bottom of the range one's got 14 inch wheels. I think... Say. The leather finish on the steering wheel, it's got a leather steering wheel, the driver passenger airbag, side airbags, curtain airbags. It is very smooth for a tiny car. All the bumps, it irons bumps out of way for a car that's got a wheelbase shorter than my height. It hasn't. Joking, but it feels like it. I can reach the back of the car from here. Um, like actually, the back of the car from here. It's a tiny little car, teeny weeny car. Right, I'm coming up to my hill that I normally have to stop on. Watch today, the uh, the uh, traffic lights won't change, and I won't have to stop. Let's have a look. Yep, there we go, straight through the lights, no red traffic light, and I am going to stop for some refreshments at the shop, which is just here. So then, refreshment stops done. <laughs> Device temperature is rising. Well, I hope uh... Wow, well, the video's, uh, my phone's getting a bit hot, so some function disabled by temperature rise. Oh, okay, whatever that means, I don't know. But yeah, so, comes with USB socket, auxiliary input. So you can plug your phone in via the USB socket. The standard USB socket doesn't really charge a phone very well, I have to say. Um, so buy a cigarette lighter adapter thing. I 
I'm going to do a walk around of the vehicle when I get on my drive. But um, but right now I'm driving, so I can't. What I'll do. So you've just heard the engine start. I've probably got. What, what month are we in? June. So I've probably got two months on the current oil. I do over a thousand miles a month. I change more every couple of thousand. Five five thousand miles at most. For four months, every four months. It might seem a bit excessive, but if you want your car to last, that's what you should do. And then the more the more time you're under your bonnet, so to speak, the more things you're going to notice before they have a knock-on effect and destroy something else in the car. Um, the what was I going to say? Yeah, right. Okay, I'll do a part two when I get back of the walk around the outside of the vehicle. Tyres they come with the Continental Eco Contact Five, I think they are. So far, I've got twelve thousand miles on it. Please, people, tyre rotation. Do your tyre rotation. It's not hard. Makes your tyres last longer. <clears throat> and makes your car handle better. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna go now. And we'll do a part two when we get back.